when some of those same lawmakers passed a comprehensive overhaul of the laws governing Wall Street, banks had to stop implementing certain fees and penalties they often charge their customers. But some banks have found a new revenue stream, capitalizing on the sharp rise in mobile banking on smartphones and tablets. Kayla Tausche has more. In order to point, snap, deposit, you may have to pay. Long offered free to customers, mobile banking apps have various fees that are slowly but surely adding up. Minneapolis-based U.S. Bancorp has charged 50 cents to make a remote check deposit for three years. Alabama-based Regions Financial now charging 50 cents too, but a whopping $5 if you want the funds right away. And Wells Fargo, the first universal bank to move into mobile fees for what it calls premium products like bank-to-bank -bank transfers or emergency bill pay that posts immediately. Banks say the sooner they have to post your funds, the more risk for them since they don't have the time to verify that the money is there. Sources say banks are currently lobbying Washington regulators to try and get cheaper insurance on these funds so they can start to waive some of those fees. Richard Hunt, president of the Consumer Bankers Association, says the move is natural. Banks have long offered products like checking accounts for free, too, but can't afford to because of the increased legislative and regulatory pressure, not to mention the high-tech investment. Some customers could embrace small fees. If Bank of America, for example, charges me $1 to deposit a $49 check, yes, I will continue to use the services. But if not, if they charge $5, I'm sorry, I definitely will not use it. Others would change the way they bank entirely. I'd probably change banks. If, you know, if Bank of America wasn't doing that and Chase was, I would move my money. Each month, millions of checks are digitally deposited at big U.S. financial institutions. And the number of non-traditional bankers that say they only use the app to bank surged 55 percent in the last year. No doubt banks have a captive audience, always on the go, and on their phones. Now time is money, and saving time could cost you money too. I do it solely for the convenience, and actually that's not, it's not very often. If they started to charge me for it, you know, enough is enough. For Nightly Business Report, I'm Kayla Tausche.